President Trump fired off a dozen tweets today on topics ranging from the Russia investigation to Iran to immigration, underscoring just how much he relies on Twitter. Brian Todd has been looking into this for all of us. So Brian, what are you learning? Well, just a short time ago, President Trump defended his use of Twitter, saying social media is a powerful tool for him. But we've spoken to historians and Trump biographers who say the immediacy of Twitter is intoxicating for Donald Trump, and they're worried that the, ex that the extent to which he is now turning to the social media feed is getting unhealthy. For a president obsessed with polls, ratings, and adulation, there is nothing he loves more than the popularity barometer in his pocket, his Twitter account. I guess we have 60 million, almost 60 million on Twitter. The president has become so reliant on Twitter that Politico says in a meeting earlier this year, he stopped a conversation with frustrated lawmakers about his decision to pull troops out of Syria in order to consult his Twitter account. Quote, get Dan Scavino in here, the president reportedly called out. Scavino, Trump's social media advisor, walked in. Politico says Trump then instructed Scavino to, quote, tell them how popular my policy is. Scavino reportedly then took the congressman through the positive response Trump had gotten to the Syria decision on social media. I think the thing that matters most to the president is that he be affirmed by the people who love him, uh, the people on Twitter who follow him and respond every time he says something. He uses Twitter almost as a personal polling service. The president has often relied on Twitter to share his grievances and announce major decisions. But those who study him say more and more, he seems to be using Twitter to gauge the reaction of his base over the advice of his administration. A far cry, historians say, from presidents who relied on polling, intelligence briefings, and background documents. Donald Trump uh, gives us the impression that he doesn't really use any of the work or not much of the work that the that the institutions provide him and seems to rely on Twitter, uh, not only for a sense of how well his policies are doing, for what, but for what those policies ought to be. And that's, well, that's actually unprecedented. Twitter is where the president goes to take the pulse of his base, analysts say, before he makes a decision. But it's also a vehicle to validate his viewpoints, illustrated by his frenzied binges of retweeting others. He has all the power that comes with the office, and yet he's insecure. He's so insecure that he's going to his Twitter feed to pump himself up. Sometimes, the sources from which the president retweets have questionable credibility or are downright dangerous, like his 2017 retweet of three videos from a British anti-Muslim Twitter account. So what does his Twitter dependence say about Trump's view of reality? A president who spends most of his time either watching TV or tapping out tweets on his phone is going to have a warped sense of reality. He's not in the everyday existence that the rest of us share. The president today touted his use of Twitter as a way to circumvent traditional media. I have to go through a different source. It's called do speeches and go with our social media stuff, which is quite powerful, I must say. And aides defend Trump's practice of not reading thick briefing papers or relying solely on advisors, saying Twitter gives Trump an effective way of having two-way communication with voters. He's able to control so much of the news cycle through Twitter and other things that allows him to see that and then react to it in real time. But historians are warning tonight of the dangers of Trump's reliance on Twitter to inform so much of what he does as president. One historian says to solve an international crisis, for instance, a president often has to figure out what the other side is looking for to understand that and find a common interest. He says you don't get that kind of information when you're only tapping your Twitter feed and seeing your followers telling you to be a tough guy. Wolf? Good point. Uh, Brian, how much uh, has the influence of this, this one aid to the president, the social media advisor, uh, how much influence has, 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 has he, does he have and how has it grown? It's astounding, Wolf. For, the former Trump strategist Steve Bannon quoted in Politico as saying of that aide, uh, Dan Scavino, that Scavino is essentially the communications department of the White House because so many uh, communications directors under Trump have left. That's extraordinary for a man who, before he came to the White House, he had been a caddy and he had managed one of Trump's golf clubs.